Yo, what is good, Locked Up Nation? Coming at y'all with another banger, man. So, it is patch 13 still. 2K hasn't come up with a patch recently. Honestly, patch 13 might be the last patch 2K comes out with. But, y'all need jump shots. Now, I posted quite a few jump shots on my channel, but... This video is a little bit different. You see the title. I'm going to give you the best jump shot. Actually, the title says best jump shot for every quick draw. But I'm giving you multiple jump shots for every quick draw. Bronze, silver, gold, and Hall of Fame. So regardless of what quick draw you like to use, you're going to know the best jump shots for all of them. For not just you, but your friends. Tell your friends about these jump shots. And also tell them about my channel. So... As a reward for giving you the best jump shots in advance, I would like. You gotta get at least 100 likes, right? I mean, I'm giving you the best jump shot for every quick draw. Not just one, not a top three, not a top five. Every quick draw, you're getting multiple jump shots. So drop a like just for that. You know, for every like this video gets, that is a green for you. So if it's 100 likes, you're hitting 100 greens consecutively. And also, we're on the road to 6K. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications. And after this video, I'm going to leave it on the end screen. I got shooting tips. So take one of the jump shots, pull on whatever quick draw you want, and then check that video out because you're going to have the best jump shots and you're going to know how to green. The most effective way to green shots every shot and just tips to help you practice being a better shooter so check it out after this video but without further ado let's get to the jump shots so before we get into the bronze quick draw shots i want to apologize for the quality on these clips this is from my first video on 2k20 and i forgot to adjust the settings to make this the best quality video possible and you can check that video out after this if you want it is still a really funny video and it's still a really good video they got really good feedback and all that but the jump shot it looks a little funky but you see it's green and it goes in white you know all that cliche stuff that you want to hear in a jump shot video now it's going to sound like a troll but you probably know who it is by now it's lonzo ball and yes i got these Cliff Sloop, because I don't have much footage of my guy using this shot. He didn't use it for long. But, Lonzo Ball, man. It's a slow, easy to time shot. You can use it without the meter, too. The Q is just, it's so easy to time, because you see that release point where you gotta release it. It's super easy to tell. But, I only recommend this on bronze, because any higher, it's gonna be way too fast. Like, the way his arm moves when he's shooting, it's gonna be way too fast, and it will be tough to time. This is a bronze only. Obviously, I only recommend Lonzo on spot ups. If you're an off the dribble guy, I'm not really too sure about bronze, but I would say use the jump shots I'm going to review at silver quick draw and try it on bronze and see if that works. If they work on silver, I don't see why they wouldn't work on bronze. And also, I don't recommend you permanently use bronze quick draw because against decent players, you can get baited so easily. So be careful and make sure you get silver quick draw as fast as possible. That's the lowest I would recommend. Now, with that being said, let's get into silver quick draw. For silver quick draw, Dante Exum with a custom release. An earlier patch altered pure Dante Axum, at least I feel like it did, and several others feel that way as well. But 2K cannot patch custom jump shots. So if you feel a jump shot of yours was patched, make sure you use that basic fuels patch and make a custom jumper. Now, Dante Axum is a very popular slasher, slashing playmaker shot, and it's also great for spot ups. Ticino's guy Z, he used to use this shot, I don't know if he still does, but it worked out very well for him. And this shot, especially a custom Dante Axum, works very well for slashers, slashing playmakers, 2 slashing playmakers, 
It's just an all-around good shot off the catch, off the dribble. If they dare play back like this center was, then you're going to make them pay. But if you don't like Dante Exum, there's also Jump Shot 38. Now, 38 is a preference badge. This is also good for off the dribble and off the catch. Supposedly it's not good off dribble, but I've seen statistics using the shot earlier in the year and he seemed to be doing fine with it. But it is mostly a spy up shot. 38, it's either you love it or you hate it. Now in the footage that I'm showing here, I was using it on Hall of Fame quick draw. So if you want to use it on Hall of Fame, you can. If you want to use it on gold, you can. But 38, you either love it or you hate it. Now it worked out for me in this game. And I actually posted this game, but we were down 20 nothing against an Elite 2. The center on the other team was an Elite 2 with a 91%. This game was crazy. I recommend you check that out as well. But 38, I hate it. I, I can't stand it. Like I said, it worked for me in this game. But for the most part, I just don't like it. Probably because I mostly shoot off the dribble. But you might love it. It's a very popular shot. A lot of people do love Jump Shot 38. So, try it out. Let me know if it works. Another silver release Jump Shot is Paul George. Pure Paul George. That's another popular slash and playmaker shot. It's very easy at time. It's just, it's so good, man. I love it. But there are Jump Shots I think are better. There's also LaMarcus Aldridge. I don't like pure LaMarcus Aldridge. But... You can use it with a custom release and it works out great. Silver quick draw, those are the four shots I recommend for that quick draw. So with that being said, let's move on to gold. So for gold quick draw, there are three options for you to go to. The first one is Zach Levine, the most underrated player in the NBA in real life. Every time I bring up Zach Levine's jump shot, I just gotta say it, man. But listen. Zach Levine supposedly has one of the highest green windows. That's why here, I don't know if 2K Lab did a video on that or what, but I've heard that from several people. Now, this could be used on a guard and on a center, but thing is, it's another preference one. I personally didn't like the shot all that much, but you might like it. This is an extremely popular shot, but... Like I said, I didn't really like it, but you might like it. So try it out. Apparently gold is the best quick draw for this shot, but maybe that's why I didn't like it. In these clips, I was using it on Hall of Fame, but you do see I was greening up with it. And here's footage from my boy, Premier TV. Like I said, you can use this on centers, man. If you're a spot up center, a rebounding wing you can still try this shot out now the next option look at curry man look at curry steph curry man with a custom release pure steph curry is cool as well you see i'm blinking and i'm still greening but gold quick draw steph curry pure or custom is another popular shot for slashing playmakers, two way slashing playmakers that like to use gold quick draw. This is one of the best gold quick draw shots in the game. Now, Curry works on any quick draw, but it probably works best on gold. Now, some think the shot's slow, but I think it's a pretty fast shot on gold quick draw compared to the other shots. I think it's faster than Levine, and it's faster than the next option I'm gonna show you. Which is LaMarcus Aldridge with a custom release. Pure LA, I personally don't really like it, but custom LA is really good. I think it works best on gold. You can use this on silver, maybe bronze, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure about bronze off the dribble. And I was using this on Hall of Fame, but for me, it was just so inconsistent. But on gold, I think this shot is absolutely perfect. And I know other slash and playmakers. I know I keep bringing up slash and playmakers, but those are the most popular builds. Slasher, slash and playmakers, two way slash and playmakers. And they don't have the highest three point rating. And a majority of people looking for jump shots 
I feel like are slashers. Because they want to know the best jump shots that have high green windows. So they can knock down threes consistently with their low three point rating. Because most people play off them. I mean, you see the clips of my slashing playmaker. I mean, these guys play no D on me most of the time. So it is insanely important for slashers to get these jump shots. But that is it for gold quick draw. On to the main event, Hall of Fame. Alright, man. For those that have been with me. Look, first off, look at the range, man. Look at where I'm shooting from, man. Trey Young, Curry type range, man. I'd be shooting from dumb deep, man. Hall of Fame range extender is a thing of beauty. But, for those that have been with me and seen my other jump shot videos, you guys already know me. I've been preaching since patch 8. The best jump shot in the game. It might even be the best shot in 2K history, man. I'm not going to lie to you, man. 2K15, Rudy Gay, I think uh, your reign has been put to an end. Bye. Dwayne Wade. <laughs> Y'all are so tired. Look at Wade, man. Such an inspiration. It's such an inspirational 9 out of 10 jump shot, man. Look at me breaking the ankles with the shot creating take, man. Space creator, shot creating take combination. It's not toxic or anything. But listen, man. Dwayne Wade is a thing of beauty, man. It's honestly the perfect jump shot. And look at this. Cr Ooh. 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 Y'all want to know how to do that? Let me know. But. Dwayne Wade, it's great off the catch, great for spot ups. I mean, you're gonna see, I'm doing catch and shoot, I'm shooting off the dribble. It's great all around. So it doesn't matter if you're a spot up or an off the dribble shooter. It's just, it's an amazing shot, man. I I love it. Like, I am literally in love with this jump shot. Like, if I could marry a jump shot, honestly, I would marry this jump shot. I'm practically married to this jump shot. Like, patch 8. I've been using it since, like, right before patch 8 drop. So, I don't see any signs of a divorce coming. Anyway, the other jump shots, uh, I, 98, 85, and Kobe Bryant. But, if you never tried Dwayne Wade, pure Dwayne Wade, by the way, you can try custom if you want, but pure Dwayne Wade's fine. And even on custom jump shots, like the other bases, I'll put on Dwayne Wade's release. Like, Dwayne Wade, it's, oh my god, I, it just gives me butterflies, man, it makes me, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, no more flight impressions, no more flight impressions, that's my type of shot. Alright, let me stop, let me stop, man, like, you, you see it, man, it's, it's such a great shot, and like I said, I'm practically married to it, and I still love the shot. I mean, I played last night and I didn't miss that many shots with it. I don't see any signs of a divorce coming anytime soon. Dwayne Wade, I want to thank you for existing because your jump shot in this game is so good. Like, I don't know how other people don't use it. Like, I don't know why anyone use another shot, but your shot's amazing, man. You are an inspiration. Thank you, Dwayne Wade. Look at Wade, man. Well, there you have it, man. I hope that just one of these shots helps you out. I mean, you only need one of these shots to work for you to start consistently greening shots. Speaking of which, if you want to know how to consistently green and you just want shooting tips to become a great shooter, Having a jump shot is one thing, but knowing how to green shots and just knowing how to get that repetition and be a very consistent shooter right up there. And if you want to know how to speed boost, which will make it so much easier to go for three, right up there. And my most recent video is down there. And there's that subscribe button right there. If you forgot to click it, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications. I'll see you on one of these videos, or I'll see you on the next one. But, uh, man, peace. Look at Wade, man.